General robot grasping in clutter requires the ability to plan grasps that work for previously unseen objects. Predicting the full pose of the end effector increases the capabilities of robotic manipulators in scenarios like the one shown in this picture. Here, it is easier to grasp the handle of the lint roller from the side, while the bowl should be approached from the top. Drawing inspiration from recent uh, fully convolutional grasping networks, we present a novel approach for real-time six-dorf grasp detection. The input to our algorithm is a truncated sign distance field. TSDFs are 3D voxel grids, where each cell contains the truncated distance to the nearest surface. They can be efficiently constructed from single or multiple depth observations, captured, for example, by a wrist-mounted sensor. Our goal is to find a map which predicts the quality, orientation, and opening width of a parallel jaw grasp at every voxel. Since finding this map analytically is infeasible, we seek to learn a deep neural network approximation instead. Our volumetric grasping network, short VGN, is a 3D convolutional neural network following an encoder-decoder architecture and has three heads for predicting the quality, orientation, and width of a grasp at each voxel. To train the network, we generate a large data set of labeled grasps using physical simulation. We generate diverse scenes using two strategies, piles of objects randomly dropped in a box and objects iteratively placed into packed configurations. For each scene, we sample and evaluate multiple grasp locations and store the voxel index, outcome, and, in case of a successful grasp, the orientation and opening width. The network is trained end-to-end -end using the following loss function, where LQ is the binary cross entropy, LR is based on the angle between two quaternions, and LW is the mean squared error between predicted and target values. Q is the binary target graph success label, meaning that rotation and width only contribute to the loss in case of a positive ground truth grasp label. Giving a predicted grasp quality map, we perform several steps to compute a list of promising grasp candidates, including smoothing, rejecting invalid configurations, applying a threshold on the predicted grasp quality, and finally, non-local maximum suppression. Further task-specific filters can be applied if desired. To evaluate VGN, we perform a series of simulated clutter removal experiments using three sets of held out test objects and different object counts. Here you can see one example for each of the five considered setups. We measure crash success rates and the percentage of objects that were removed from the scenes. For comparison, we also report results using GPD, an algorithm for detecting six of grasps in clutter that only relies on a point cloud reconstruction. We observe that overall VGN achieves high success rates while clearing a large fraction of the objects. Changing the threshold epsilon on a predicted grasp quality also allows us to balance between higher grasp success rates and removing more objects. To validate that our model transfers to a real system, we perform 10 rounds of table clearing experiments using a panda arm and piles of six test objects. At the beginning of each grasp, we construct a TSDF of the scene by fusing images along a scan trajectory. Next, we evaluate VGN and execute the highest detected grasp, which you can see in the bottom right corner. Out of the 68 grasp attempts, 55 were successful, resulting in 92% of the objects being removed with a grasp success rate of 80%. VGN also generates side grasps on the lint roller and manages to compute grasps on the thin edges of the bolts. We observe that most failure cases are objects slipping out of the hand due to small errors in position and orientation, which we partly explain by a lack of friction that is not properly handled by our simulator. We recorded some additional unstable grasps and one collision. Finally, since inference on a GPU-equipped computer is really fast, we can run the whole pipeline on individual depth observations in real time. In the bottom left visualization, you can see a subset of the detected grasps updated at 10 Hz. Thanks for watching, and please check out our paper for more details.